constant struggle, man. What's up guys? I just wanted to quickly go over why I brought this. So, I've been wanting um, a good camera for a long, long time. I mean, photography and videography, whatever cinematography, has always been um, something that interests me. So I thought, let's go ahead, let's do it, let's make it into a good hobby, maybe something might come out of it. Um, I can improve the quality of my pictures, my videos, take it around everywhere I go. I'm going on holiday soon, so it will help out then. I go on days out. And um, hopefully this investment will pay off. I think I'm going to make this video dedicated to this. So I'm going to show some of you guys out there, whether you're Facebook, Instagrammers, YouTubers, that what a difference a camera like this can make. So I'm going to take a few pictures with a normal camera, say my phone and one of these. And also I'm going to do a video with this and a video with this. So you can see what a difference it can really make. So... I guess I'll catch you in the next clip. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. 750D. I got a better lens. Um, so I thought it could go a little bit further. Let's have a look what comes in here. Um, little CD to set it up. Won't work on my Mac anyway. Instruction manuals. There's a little strap. Nice of them. Don't know what this is. Oh, it looks like the battery for the camera. This is the lens. This is the bit that... You know, you can change over time. The body's fine, but you can change the lens over time. This is the expensive part of the camera, really. And uh, you can upgrade your... As your skills get better, you can get a better lens. And uh, here's the camera itself. So here it is. All attached. Big lens. Lens cap. The screen. It can twist out like that so for, like, selfie videos it's nice it's all the stuff i'm here at curry's um looking to get a bag for the camera you gotta keep it safe and they got a good deal on a uh, canon bag so i'm gonna show you it so here's the camera that i brought 750d with a different lens my lens is bigger than that and here are the two bags that i've picked out a good price both on offer about the same size but this one's more boxy so i don't know um, this one's obviously an official Canon one, and I do like the little cocky bit on the bottom. Uh, but this one has more compartments, and like slots. But I think I'm gonna go for this one, slightly smaller as well. Guys, just got back from the shop after buying my bag, um, the camera, memory card, whatever. I also got a lens hood now this will block out unnecessary um sunlight that you don't want and um be good for vlogging outside taking pictures outside um some indoor conditions as well and we'll see how this fits pretty sure it goes on just like that or maybe that bit has to be on the outside but that looks quite professional now huh what's up guys so this is being recorded on my dslr right now this is my first ever time trying to vlog with it tell me if you notice a difference but what i'm gonna do for you guys is i'm gonna work out i'm gonna record clips with my phone that i used to use for my videos and now with this just to show you the difference of quality see if there is any if it's worth it might help you guys out in making a decision if you want to get a camera like this haven't seen any other video like this is a bit of a handful. Don't know if you can see the reflection. Let's go.
Hey guys, I'm here with a commentary over my workout, so as you've seen in the first little clip, that that clip was on my smartphone, and this one here is with my SLR. And also, you can tell that the sound is much clearer and louder on the DSLR, as you can hear right now. Both cameras are set on automatic here. There's no messing around with manual, both on automatic. So this is how they default record videos. The clips do run a lot smoother and sharper due to the higher frames per second on the DSLR. I mean, look at that right there. Um, you can see every little detail. The, the movement looks more fluid and less choppy, I guess. Plus the colours, rather than looking flushed out, look a lot more vivid and deeper in my opinion. Um, not only brighter, but you can just see the true colours of how it's meant to look like. I mean, just look in this next clip in three, two, one, you know, and the surrounding areas is kind of, it looks more cinematic and darker in the background, and more focused uh, on the person or item at hand. I finished this workout here with some abs, and I don't know if you noticed also, I just noticed, you can get more in the frame. Obviously, the, the camera, the lens is so much bigger and wider. It's not a wide angle lens, but it's so much bigger so you can fit more in the frame than you can with a normal camera. But do remember, guys, this is all for reference. So I'm not knocking smartphones, they're great. Uh, whether you get a DSLR or not, just record and start and make videos and be consistent. Cheers. Good news, guys. My trusty little compartment. Just this morning, I got a spare battery for the camera so I'll never run out of power again. I think this is very important. Say you're out doing um, a video which takes a lot of battery or taking a lot of pictures or this and that, or you're going abroad or you're going on a trip and you run out of battery. So this is vital. And the only last thing I've got left to get is a tripod. So this will come in handy. Oh, and let me know, guys. Should I get, like, a Joby Gorillapod type of tripod? You know, the ones that can bend and twist and stuff, but they don't go as high? Or should I get a normal old-fashioned tripod, which you can obviously extend? You can probably rotate it a bit better, because uh, I do most of my videos on my own. So, if you can give me some input in the comment section, it would be much appreciated. <laughs>